My name is Jada, and I don't know you, but I love differently than you. I'm gay, but that doesn't define who I am as a person. It's just a very small piece of who I am. Because we are so many things before our sexuality. I'm a daughter, a sister, a friend, an athlete, an intern architect, an interior designer. I'm the person that you would call if you needed help, or if you had a flat tire, or if you just needed a shoulder to cry on. Or maybe just a listening ear. That's who I am. I'm a biker. I'm a smartass and sarcastic and kind, I would hope. I am a gun owner. I'm an artist. I'm a college graduate. I am a cat lover and a farm girl. I'm hardworking. I'm a social butterfly. I may not even know you, and I would be your friend. I am so many things before I'm gay. Being gay doesn't define who I am in its entirety. It's just a very small piece of who I am. I don't know you, but if it was within my power and you needed anything from me, I would help you. You may care whom I choose to love, but I don't care who you choose to love. Who you choose to love is your own choice. It doesn't affect me in my daily life whatsoever. I still get up and make coffee for myself, and I still take a shower every day, and I still go to work every day, and whom you choose to love has no effect over any of my daily activities. And I understand that whom I choose to love may have some effect on you, but I'm not going to treat you any differently because of it. If you're hurt, I'm still going to come to your aid. And if you have a flat tire, I'm still going to offer to come change it and help you. Or if I see you alongside the road, I'm going to pull over and see if you need help. That's just who I am. And I'm not going to change who I am because you disagree with whom I choose to love. I'm going to love you anyways. You may protest at a pride event that I'm a part of. I'm not going to protest back or yell at you for your beliefs or make fun of the signs you make or do anything actually because those choices and those opinions, those are yours. And I know that nothing that I can ever say is going to change your mind. But I'm still going to love you anyways. Some of you may think that whom I choose to love is a choice that I made. And that's okay. You can think that way. My only response to that is this. If you are in love with someone right now, or maybe you're married, just think about this. Did you fall in love with that person or did you make a conscious choice to love that person? Did you just say, I choose to love you? Most of you did not. And I understand that maybe, maybe some of you did, but most of you didn't. You just fell in love with that person. Your heart made that choice for you. And I can tell you from personal experience that nobody would choose to be discriminated against. No one would choose to be in a position where a group of people hated them for who they were. We love who we love, despite the discrimination that we face. Because the discrimination is better than living a lifetime of misery and self-hate just to make other people more comfortable or happy with themselves. My heart is absolutely broken about the shootings in Orlando. It's broken because some coward or cowards decided to come in and kill people. 
It has nothing to do with them being gay. It has to do with them being people. And many of those victims are just like me. They would have done anything for you. They would have been your best friend. They would have been the person that you could call on at any point in time and been the shoulder that you lean on. They would have helped you if you were in trouble. This isn't about gun control or homosexuality or whatever platform some politician wants to make it about. This is about human beings. 50 people died and 53 are in the hospital because they love differently than you. Their love didn't affect how you make your coffee or your wedding plans or how the season finale of Game of Thrones is going to turn out. If you didn't know that they loved differently than you, would you feel the same way? Maybe. But that's okay. I wish that we would stop hating each other because of our differences and start loving each other and caring about each other because of our similarities. And, and stop judging people based on whom they love because it doesn't define who they are. America is a melting pot of awesomeness. We are so many different cultures and communities and, and, and just amazing people. And, and we just need to appreciate the differences in each other and, and just love each other. We are all not going to have the same opinions. And, and that is completely fine because we are all individuals. And we just need to learn to appreciate the differences in everybody in, instead of wanting to make everybody the same. Because how, how boring would that be if we were all the same people? Our world would be, like, so much better if we could just start helping each other instead of hurting each other. And just start loving each other. And if you want to hate me because I choose to love differently, that's okay. I'm going to love you anyways. And if you want to hurt me because I love differently than you, that's okay too. But I'm not going to change who I am and who I love because of your opinion. We are Orlando because we are all human beings. Thank you for watching.